All right, welcome to fifth grade. Here is unit 1.1. Go ahead and take a look at page number um, one in your math journal and follow along with me. Much of what you have learned up to now in everyday math has been basic training in mathematics and its uses. This year, you'll extend the skills and ideas you have learned, and you will also study other ideas in mathematics, many of which your older brothers and sisters or even your parents may not have learned until high school. The authors of Everyday Mathematics believe that today's fifth graders can learn more and do more than fifth graders in the past. Here are some of the things you'll be asked to do in fifth grade Everyday Mathematics. Practice and extend your knowledge of numbers and their properties, as well as your ability to use measurements and estimation. Review and extend your skills in doing arithmetic, using a calculator, and thinking about problems and their solutions. You will work with and learn the notations for fractions, decimals, and percents, large whole numbers, exponents, and negative numbers. Continue your work with algebra, using variables in place of numbers to represent and analyze situations. You will ref um, refine your understanding of geometry. You will define and classify geometric figures more completely than before. You will construct figures and transformations. You will find the perimeter and area of two-dimensional shapes and the volume and surface area of three-dimensional figures. You will study the history, people, and environment in the United States through numerical data. You will learn to interpret many kinds of maps, graphs, and tables and use them to solve problems. Look at journal page two. Without telling anyone with a Write a secret number in the margin at the top of the page in the right-hand corner. You will use that data from the questionnaires and experiments to explore probability and statistics. We want you to become more, you want you to become better at using mathematics so you may better understand your world. We hope that you enjoy the activities in fifth grade everyday mathematics and that they will help you appreciate the beauty and usefulness of mathematics in your daily activities. All right, kids, this is what we're going to be doing here today. I know that page right there had a lot of writing in it. Basically, what it breaks down is what you're going to be learning in everyday math this year in fifth grade, pretty similar to the um, years past. Today's first lesson, go ahead and turn with me to page two. I know it asks you to put a number up in the top corner of that page. Just go ahead and disregard that number. This is what you're going to be doing today. You're going to be using your student reference books, which I've already handed out to you and you have inside your desk. And you're going to be solving each one of these problems. A lot of all these problems are review that you've learned back in third grade and fourth grade. I'm going to be helping you out a little bit. I'll give you the page number where to look at. So this first problem, it says, circle the prime numbers in the following list. If you don't remember what a prime number is, I want you to go ahead and go to page 12 in your student reference book. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at what a prime number is, what a composite number is. This will help you out. Go ahead and circle the prime numbers in this list. Keep in mind, there's something special about the number one. So don't get confused with the number one, but look closely at page 12. That'll help you out with what to do with the circling of the number one. And of course, if you have any questions, I'll be walking around the room. I'll be able to help you out. Don't do anything with the problem points, page points. Disregard anything on this side. Right now, we're just trying to fill in the blanks. Problem number two, it says five meters equals how many centimeters? If you don't remember how many centimeters are in one meter, go ahead and take a look at page 184. Even if you remember what these things are, please remember to put these page numbers in this slot. Number three, how many, <coughs> there's 300 millimeters and how many centimeters, or equals how many centimeters. Go ahead and take a look at page 184 in your student reference book. Problem number four, what is the perimeter of this figure? If you don't remember what perimeter means, go ahead and take a look at page 186. This will help assist you on this problem. Keep in mind that these sides right here also need to have a number with them. Number five, name two fractions equivalent to four six. If you don't remember what the word equivalent means, please take a look at these page numbers. We'll help you out a little bit with fractions. Obviously, multiple answers will work in this area. Please stay away from 40 over 60 and 400 over 600. Let's try and use a little bit of our multiplication skills to get a, a little um, tougher, higher order fractions in this place. Number six. This angle RST, RST, acute or obtuse? If you don't remember what these words means, please take a look at um, student reference book page 139. Help refresh your memory and you'll be just fine on these problems. Um, problem number seven, 
what is the definition of a scalene triangle? Once again, if you don't remember what a scalene triangle is, go ahead and take a look. I'll also have your um, geometry templates out. So you're going to have to draw and label a scalene triangle. Go ahead and do it in this area. If you need some space, more space, go ahead and do that. You'll be able to just trace it right off your geometry template. What materials do you need to play Top It games? Well, if you don't remember what Top It games are, which most likely you probably don't remember, because I would have to look that up as well. Student so reference book page 333 and 336. Disregard the bottom of that page and eat that um, that chart below um, question eight. You're not going to be doing anything with uh, problem points and page points. Another thing you're going to be working on today is that math box on page four. Go ahead and take a look at page four. I helped you out with problem number one. It says next to each student reference book icon in problems two through six, write the student reference or student um, um, reference book um, page numbers on which you can find information about each problem. I helped you out. So we can just keep on moving along. Write a six-digit numeral that has four in the hundreds, five in the thousands, and so on. Go ahead and look at page um, 27 to 32 in your student reference book. We'll help you out, refresh you on place value. List the factors of 12. We're going to be doing a lot with factors in unit one. So if you're, you're having trouble remembering what 12 is, there's factor rainbows. Do not remember what a factor rainbow is? I'll be teaching you that, no problem. Also take a look at page 10 to refresh your memory on that. Multiplication. And division fact family, 2, 7, and 14. Go ahead and, and, and list the fact family. So, for example, 2 times 7 equals 14. That's one of your answers out of the four. Take a look at um, page 10 and 4, 11. Last thing right here, we have another place value. And then we're adding and we're subtracting. Please take a look. You'll have to borrow here. And that's on page 13 through 17. That's what you're going to be working on for Unit 1.1, and this is our first flipped classroom lesson of the year. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Please remember that you can pause and, and, and rewind and help yourself out as you go through this. All right, I look forward to working with you tomorrow.